Introduced by his daughter Ashley, President Joe Biden received a hero's welcome. Thank you. Thank you. At the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Illinois, he fulfilled his promise to be a transitional leader. Are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz? and gave his full support to Kamala Harris, the party's new presidential nominee for the November election. But she'll be a president our children can look up to. She'll be a president respected by world leaders because she already is. She'll be a president we can all be proud of. And she will be a historic president who puts her stamp on America's future. Biden was unchallenged at the Democratic primaries, just a month ago, the roughly 4,000 delegates here were set to nominate him. But Monday, he balanced support for Harris and his achievements in office. COVID no longer controls our lives. We've gone from economic crisis to the strongest economy in the entire world. Record 16 million new jobs. Record small business growth. Record high stock market, record high 401ks. Wages up, inflation down, way down, and continuing to go down. It started with the debate against Republican nominee former President Trump in late June. Biden, who is 81, had such dismal performance that people questioned his mental acuity. Then, an assassination attempt on Trump that rallied Republicans and pushed him further ahead in the polls. For weeks, Biden insisted he would remain in the race, even as party leaders privately asked him to step aside. Uh, Joe Biden is a one-term president who was forced off the ticket by the leaders of the Democratic Party, despite having uh, won the nomination in the primaries. Uh, he's now asked to make an enthusiastic endorsement of his vice president, Kamala Harris. Um, it doesn't take a Sigmund Freud to realize that he might be very conflicted about this. If he's conflicted, then Joe Biden is not showing it at all, expressing strong support for Kamala Harris and basking in the love and gratitude of his party. He spoke to some convention delegates here on the floor. It was a beautiful speech. It was, it was a great speech of a culmination of years and years of service. I think his legacy is strong and positive. And tonight he told the American public why he loves them and what he did for 50 years to serve our nation. And it's an incredible record. This despite Trump trying to sow division among Democrats. They forced him out. It was a coup. We had a coup. That was the first coup in the history of our country. Biden repeated Democrats' theme of Harris, a former prosecutor, going against Trump, who has been found guilty in court. And crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. Biden ended his speech with an embrace from Harris, cementing his role among Democrats as the leader who could possibly save the country again from Trump, this time by passing the torch. Joe, thank you for your historic leadership, for your lifetime of service to our nation, and for all you will continue to do. We are forever grateful to you. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Chicago.